telescope control in Greenbelt. Uh, we have uh, been given the go-ahead to begin commanding a release of the forward lashes which hold the uh, solar arrays in place during launch along the side of the telescope. The forward latches are on both sides, both the port and starboard side of the telescope are uh, released simultaneously.
makes a census of the distant universe that heretofore had not been possible. observations into the infrared. Um, basically, uh, JST is an infrared telescope um, with the resolution that Hubble has. Uh, the Spitzer Space Telescope is our current infrared observatory, but it has a very small mirror, um, and its resolution is, you know, um, you know much, uh, is not comparable to Hubble's. Hubble's is much better than Spitzer. JWST will have comparable resolution, in, in some cases even better resolution than Hubble, while looking in the infrared. And this will help us because it addresses um, because uh, several of the important unsolved problems in astronomy uh, can only be solved by looking into the infrared. I mentioned that we uh, look at these distant galaxies and we learn about the development of galaxies. Well, due to cosmological redshift, the light from these distant galaxies is shifted toward the red end of the spectrum and even into the infrared. Hubble can see a bit of the near infrared, but it can't see the mid infrared. And JWST will have Hubble like resolution in the mid infrared and will be able to study these distant galaxies much better than Hubble can.